Did you know that our muscles are comprised about 70% water? So when it comes to strength, or having energy, or endurance, along with about 500 other things, water is super critical to our success. And that's why we're always preaching to people that they need to drink more water. Now the problem is, water seems to be one of those things that it's easy to kind of lose sight of, or lose track of, or forget, or you might think, oh, well, I, I've, you know, I think I'm drinking a lot of water, but in reality, maybe we haven't drank as much as we thought we have. And so with that in mind, we really try to preach to people to track their water, measure their water intake, to make sure that they're drinking the amount that they should and they're staying hydrated. Today, I wanna to talk about three ways to do just that. So the first and foremost, get like a big gallon jug or some sort of giant container, fill it up first thing every morning or at night or before you go to bed, and then just focus on drinking that container throughout the day. Option number two is what we call like rubber band system. So a client actually shared this with me not that long ago. I thought it was really neat. Uh, they had a 20 ounce bottle. Their goal is to drink 100 ounces a day. Every morning they put five rubber bands around the bottle. And each time that they would uh, finish and refill the bottle, they take a rubber band off. So at the end of the day, they had their water bottle and they needed to remove basically all the um, water from that. <clears throat> Last thing is to get a like a water jug, let's just say it's like a 32 ounce, I use 32 ounce jug personally, or like 20 ounces, and then just keep tabs of how many times you refill that throughout the day, but make sure you're getting a large water bottle and kind of refilling it consistently. So again, three ways to measure your water intake, super important to do because it will help you in every way imaginable. So keep that in mind, thanks for watching, talk soon.